Hello, once again, for the third time, if you're maybe watching this for, like, I don't know, the 37th time, well, hello again. Today we are unboxing, once more, another Bakugan product. You know, Alcorn. To be honest, this one is one of my favorites. I don't know why I'm tapping my finger like this, a lot of people do it, and I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't mean to do it, but now I am. YOLO. Go ahead and start digging into this. Bam. Go ahead and clear this thing out. Alright. So this is an Ultra Bakugan, so this one actually has instructions. So let's go ahead and see what this is, you know, YOLO. First side shows you all the Bakugan, so yeah, you can pause it easily right now if you want to. YOLO. And, oh yeah, I forgot. The other side is instructions. I'm probably going to need this, but to make things harder for myself and more, maybe slightly more entertaining, doubt it. I'll throw that away over there. Probably can go back to that. Don't know. Next part is instructions, so I'm going to go back read these out after a while, um, instructions, not really, the, I'm not really the best place to read the instructions, so if you're looking for instructions, you might want to look up on Google or another YouTube video, because I don't have good camera, so yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, go with the back cores now. Again, once another a um, DNA strand. It's some from basically from Nalius, and that worked. Uh, and then we have um, a red shield. So we got these two. Shield gives me or you or anyone gets it a uh, 200 G power or B power. Doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna call it G power because you know, I'm, it sounds better. And this DNA strand gives you negative 100 and negative 3. So, this is a trap card. Well, not card, but you know what I mean. Same difference. Go ahead and get this. Oh, this one's wrapped in some sort of card holding device. Quote, unquote. Kind of like a wrapper. This card, okay, so there's two cards in this one. So, there's a. Character card and ability card. This one you'll be able to use it in battle. Let's go over the character card first. So, character card. Up top, back of the cores you need. Don't know, I think my camera's lagging. Oh well, it needs. You get what I mean? Darkest on the top left right there. Uh, two attack. Again, if it focuses, which I doubt it will, you probably see it right now, even with the blur. There for my dog. 300. Not as strong as an alias. But more attack. East right down there. Ability card. It costs 2 energy to use it. And it's called... That. With doggos. I like doggos, plus I like the design of this pack we got. So 100, 100 B power or G power for each... Card flip, or each, yeah, card flip in your disposable pile. He's right down there. This is a rare card, except it's common, because, you know, you can get it easy in this pack. You can see it down there in the bottom corner. Hey, you get what I mean, the cameras. I, I need to upgrade cameras someday. Not today. Definitely not. Put these right here. Got those. Now time for the back of itself. Nelius, no, no, call it Nelius, Halcor. Go ahead and get this thing out. One of the more parts, I'm afraid I'm going to break. Yep. Sounds 
clean that up later. So here's Neelius. And I, and I call it a Neelius again. It is Halicor. So far, the only pieces I know that moves by you have to move it yourself are these ears up here. Not that much, but a little detail helps a lot. Let's try to close it up without the instructions. So, um, let's go for the feet first. Back legs. Um, well, you need to do both of them yourself. Man, I thought they were the same. Now, Dean, skills of folding. Got those. Um, put the head, head down. One day. I had a feeling ultra back gun are not going to be that easy when it comes to. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, it's three hundred G or B on the bottom there. Yeah, I got a feeling these are not the easiest to fold back up. So, hopefully that's good enough there. Um, tail, maybe. Do you eat your tail, good sir? Or I'm not. Looks like he does. Feet. No. Feet. No. Why me? Put the tail in your mouth, good sir. You will eat it. So, hey, these side heads aren't. I'm not putting it all the way. I'll just be right back. All right, I'm back, and um, it took me so long to try to get this thing closed. But um, for you, it was just a few seconds. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to pop this open, and uh, probably never try to open it, or uh, close it again. If I can, but these two heads are kind of blocking it, so you're going to have to roll it, I guess, backwards or something. So no, I'm just gonna pop it up right in front of you, because I'm not closing this thing again. Well, for at least a while, but if I will, I won't have time to do anything else. Opening up like this, and it's supposed to flip around and stand back up with the back of core on its head. So, yeah, so there's that it is right there. I do. So, yeah, quick summary. So, we got two back of cores right here. There we go. Two cards, one character card, one ability card. Right there. And then one Halicor. So I put up the horns real quick. Halicor. There you go. Put them right down there. Now I did have to use this instruction thing right here. You're going to... You might not need it. But you're going to feel like you need it. And when you look at it, it's... Sometimes you might be doing the same thing right. I don't know. So yeah, there it is. Good luck trying to get this closed. Some people might be able to do it easy. Some people might not be able to do it at all. Anyway, well, it's a good back again. Right? So, uh, yeah. See you next time. Goodbye, guys. Have a blessed day.